My name is Nina DeCesar, and I'm a double bassist with the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra. Today, I'll be giving some practice tips for the excerpts for the Baltimore Symphony Youth Orchestra Concert Orchestra Audition. The first excerpt is from Beethoven 7. Here's a demonstration. So tip number one for this Beethoven 7 excerpt is to slightly crescendo and decrescendo each of the two bar phrases. This is called a hairpin. Here's a demonstration. Tip number two. From measure 27 until the end of the excerpt, use your whole arm to support the string crossing. This will help your articulation on the up bow. Here's a demonstration. So my third tip is a practicing tip. This excerpt is meant to be incredibly quiet as it's marked pianissimo. However, there's other elements of this excerpt that are really important to practice that will be easier to hear if you play them a little bit louder. So I would recommend starting at mezzo forte to focus on intonation and rhythm, and then once that feels comfy, you can gradually decrease the dynamic until you get to pianissimo. The second excerpt that we'll be talking about for the concert orchestra audition is the Bach Brandenburg Symphonia. Here's a demonstration. excerpt has to do with string crossings. The string crossings are tricky. Practice by adding a pause in between the string crossings, focusing on your right hand, just like this. The second tip that I have for the Brandenburg excerpt is that Bach is a Baroque composer, so really try to lighten up your bow hand so that it sounds airy and buoyant. So rather than this, it'll sound like this. The third and final excerpt that we'll be talking about is from the fourth movement of Dvorak 8. Here's a demonstration.
this Dvorak excerpt has to do with a sforzando. A sforzando is different from an accent because for an accent, we use a vertical type of weight to make an emphasis on the note. With a sforzando, we use bow speed to make an emphasis on the note. To test this out, put the bow on the string and then try to use your shoulder to really create bow speed. It'll feel like this. The second tip that I have for this excerpt has to do with the multiple down bows at C and D. So it's very tempting to just think of down as having a small up in the middle. However, it'll be easier if you think of it as a circle. So rather than this, it'll look like this. To practice this, you can even hold your bow out like this to really get used to that sensation. My third tip is to stay closer to the middle of the bow or the tip for the sixteenths after C. So rather than this, it'll sound like this. So using a small amount of bow for those sixteenths closer to the tip rather than trying to get all the way back to the down bow. So those are all the tips that I have for these three excerpts for the concert orchestra audition. I hope you have fun practicing and I wish you luck on your audition.